Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use ShareX Screen Recorder. First, open up a web browser and search over here, ShareX. And now this will be the official website of the ShareX, getsharex.com. And from here, you should be able to see download. And from here, you should be able to see a setup. So click on setup. And after that, it will be downloaded over here on the top right. I just simply select the file location by clicking on this one, the folder icon, and double click on the share X setup. Now, just simply select yes if there is a pop up window. Select I accept the agreement. Select next. Select a destination location and select next. And now from here, you will have additional tasks. So in my case, I like to go for desktop shortcut only. So if you like these ones over here, you could just simply check them. But I recommend going for the shortcut only and select next and select install. And after that, just simply wait for it to be installed. Now from here, you could just simply check this one to launch the share X and select finish. Now it will open up the share X. So from here, you should be able to see the uh, hotkeys or the shortcut keys. So the most basic tool over here is just simply go into the uh, task settings over here. And then go ahead and go for the screen recorder and go for screen recording options. And from here, you should be able to see audio source. So from here, the audio source is default not none so make sure to select a microphone so you will have an audio source when you record a video now guys if you want to do a screen recording just simply select capture over here and you should be able to see here screen recording and after that just simply select a region so if you go ahead and select all of the screen you could just simply click on it and drag it and from here Right away, it will be automatically be a recording and you should be able to record your screen. And now, in order for you to stop it, you could just simply go ahead and select on this one, capture, and select screen recording again. And now, from here, you should be able to see here the screen recording. And there you go. That's the basic way to screen record. I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.